name is Eli Gonzalez. Born and raised in Las Lunas, New Mexico, right here. I've lived on the same four acres my whole life. I've been an electrician for 27 years. I got two boys and a daughter, and my wife, Barbara. My dad raised us hunting and fishing outdoors. We spent a lot of time in San Juan River, specifically. I was probably around 13 or so when we started fly tying. My dad got us these little fly tying kits. I think everybody has had one of those little, there's a little wooden box and it's got all the vice in there and it's got all the little tools. And it had a little guidebook, a little field guidebook. And it showed you how to tie a few flies. And then every now and again, my dad would get us a, a magazine or something that had fly tying. But every single time that we went down to San Juan River, we went to Abe's, we were able to talk with Abe. My buddy, Philip, his dad knew him. They were pretty good friends, so when we'd go up there, it was like they were having high school reunion and he would sit and talk with us, right? And we would sit here and we would watch. And they would be tying San Juan worm. And we were just kids. We were the ones running around the shop looking for a candy bar or whatever, but that was fly time for us. Flies were like 99 cents or a buck back in the day. So if my dad bought me $20 worth of flies, that would last me one trip. My dad would be like, I'm not gonna do that every single time. So we had to be creative. And we all learned together. When we figured something out, we shared it with each other. We're coming up with new techniques to tie flies. We're using the red wire inside of a radio to tie the ribs on these annelids. You, you get where I'm coming from. My buddy Phillip's a taxidermist. This is why. It's because we needed to figure out how to, to do this. You look around my place here and you see crazy material. I, I try to, to get everything I can get my hands on that's new, only because where I came from, didn't we didn't have it, you know? There's a lot of guys out there that are older fly tires like myself that probably know exactly what I'm talking about. You see a bug, you know what you're trying to tie, and it festers in your mind for a little bit. And then a week later, you try something, eh, that didn't work, but a part of it did work. So you keep that, and then uh, you try this, and then you see something or you have a conversation, or you're at work and you're messing with a pair of pliers and you pinch a wire and you look at it and you're like, I like the way that left ridges. And so you think, and then you try. <laughs> That's the best part about fly tying is that no one has to know. You're doing it right here in the lab and no one has to know. So that's what I do, a lot. I don't get to fish as much as everybody else. So that's my fishing. That's my connection back to water. Of course I have fished an elk or a caddis, of course I have fished a stimulator, but I've always tried to fish my own flies. I've always tried to fish my own ties. I've always tried to fish my own boxes. But I think as fly tires, that's what we do. That's kind of the pride in it, right? And along that 30 years worth, you come up with your successes. These are flies that are tried and true, tested, the grindstone. It's just a stone fly pattern. But if you fish Hemis, if you fish Pecos, if you fish the Conejos, if you fish Los Pinos, you're, that's what you're gonna find. The easy bait is it's been tried and true. I've tied that fly for years using the same materials. The GFC, that fly is, it's 30 years old. Philip and I used to tie that fly with foam. You definitely have to have some creativity. You definitely have to have some ideas. But if you wanna be a good fly tire, you just need repetition. I want every easy bait in my box to be consistent in the same. Only one way to do that, and that's repetition. As fly tires, that's what we do, right? We sit here, we tie flies, we tie flies. But it's not going in my box unless it's got 147 thread wraps, it's got six ribs, it's got 12 legs. You get what I'm saying? That's how I, that's just my way of thinking. <laughs> Don't let someone tell you that it's not the way to do it. You can tie backward, you can tie forward. There's no specific way, and it allows you to be you. Use it however you need to use it, whether it's therapy, whether it's uh, an escape, whether it's just tying flies to go fishing because you want to learn how to fly fish. Put your care, put your thought into them and fish them. Once you learn, do it, do it right, do it for you.
you'll notice that every single post that I have posted on Instagram, they all end with this exact same way that the hashtag Bigfoot is real. I'm a Bigfoot guy.